Hey everyone, check out my Magnificat book covers. They are custom made by our very own talented Father Pascal. Today we're inside the friary and he's going to tell us all about his St. Pascal Arts Venture. So let's go inside and talk to him. Hey, Father Pascal. Hey, Father. How hey, are these you? are really cool Magnificat covers. Thank you. Custom made, yeah. leather, they smell good. You know, and camouflage, light brown and dark brown. Yeah. And these are, these are awesome. So you uh, started this St. Pascal Arts Venture, I know a couple of years ago, and you've always done arts and crafts uh, throughout your life and in the community. Uh, tell us what it's all about. So I've been always crafty, like you said, <laughs> and I've been doing sewing and, but also rosaries, woodworking, now pottery mm -hmm. from before and you saw last so and then I started doing these events yeah, so right. I did some craft events and you're trying to think of a good name for it and I'm my name's uh, Father Pascal after St. Pascal Baylon and St. Pascal is uh, his feast day is coming up May 17th mm. so he was uh, a great brother friar and mm. in, in the 16th century and is the patron saint of Eucharistic Congresses and Confraternities. Mm. So I have the EWTN Mass, so you turn in for that on May 17th. All right. And so you say you've been doing like these conferences, these little exhibits at, uh, at shows and things like that. Like, what do you do there? What, what goes so on? So with the, the events, I'll, I'll show off, of course, the things I have, you know, mm. for, for purchase. But also a lot of engaging with people that would mm -hmm. never meet a friar. Right. So I've had a lot of good encounters with even, of course, people that have left the church and you can engage them mm -hmm. a little bit. But uh, just a lot of people too to, to actually meet a, meet a Catholic priest or mm -hmm. a friar and uh, do, do a little evangelization right. as well. But I, people, when they have something that, that I made or a priest has made, it does, it means a lot to them. So mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. able to meet with them personally yeah. also. And I was able to witness this firsthand at the um, St. Bernard Abbey Bloomin' Festival. There was a lot of people, things were selling quick, you know, you couldn't keep it on the shelf and all that. And yeah, uh, so, you know, doing your pottery and you know, all your other things, woodwork and everything else. Uh, today we're gonna focus mainly on your rosaries and also some of your leather work. Right. So I have here set up a, a few things for rosaries I made. So my first rosaries was really knotted rosaries. So you use your fingers and you make knotted. But I taught my father, my dad, how to do it. And so he's made like tens of thousands. So I'll still make some sometimes. Um, but uh, also beaded rosaries. And then I've just got back into chain groceries so here I have some tools that I use and then just a few of the shell and turquoise some of the things I do pieces for the groceries yeah and you've also made some handbags for women there too yes yeah, so I, I the the leather has really been expansive mm -hmm. so I started doing just aprons mm -hmm. I was like I've been doing some woodworking and things and you're like I need a nice manly leather apron and so that was how it started mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it yeah. went into wallets and checkbook wallets mm -hmm. and uh, now I, I this is just a little cut piece but uh, these are going to be little rosary bags and then uh, some duffel bags mm -hmm. some tote bags uh, but now mostly I've been doing the Magnificat covers because they've been so popular. Yeah. All right, and you're going to show us how one of these is done right now. Yeah, we'll All do right. it right now. So I get the leather online, and there's a local store too, but mostly <laughs> online. And I'll get different colors that I think people will like. And I'll cut them from, from big, those are called double shoulders, or big uh, sides of, of cow. And uh, cut them down to a size that I can uh, then cut out the Magnificat. So I had a cutter made that makes this really easy. It's called a, a steel roll die. And what I'll do, it just will squeeze down and <laughs> cut it right out. So I'll just line it right up here. And then I have this nice little press to press it in. 
ready to go. I have three dies, so a Magnificat, a, a Monstrance, like on our habit, and my logo, the St. Pascal Arts, and I'll emboss that really quick with the same machine. So over at the sewing machine, I'm going to put two pieces on, one for the front cover. So I'm going to do that. I have a couple sewing machines now for leather working. That, so it's part of what I've been able to invest, do some investment for the St. Pascal Arts. So I'm thankful for, for everything so I can make some more. Yeah, so I like to put three ribbons in. So I'll usually do red, blue and green or red, blue and yellow or whatever <laughs> so that uh, you can keep your place. So I actually will just do that with the same machine and be really precise. So usually I'll put this uh, gum, it's called a tokenol, on the inside and I'll, I'll put it on and it goes on just like uh, some thin glue mm -hmm. and then that'll actually burnish it up. But I like to take, uh, this is just a hammer, and uh, just go over the edges just to burnish it and that push pushes in the thread and makes it, of course, makes it even stronger. And then you can, it's a little hard showing it, but you can fold it over and then you put your ribbons right where you, right where you like them. And just a little playing with it and it's done. Mm. All right, cool. So how can I see all of your uh, arts and crafts? I have a Instagram page, mm -hmm. so of course the Franciscan Missionaries, we have an Instagram, but also St. Pascal Arts, so St. Pascal Arts on Instagram, mm -hmm. which you'll find in the link. Or, yeah. <laughs> um, and from there, I also have an Etsy shop, so mm -hmm. people that are interested in purchasing some of the things that I, I'll, I'll put all kinds of things mm -hmm. even on the Instagram, but some will go on an Etsy page, so mm -hmm. E-T-S-Y, and there's a St. Pascal Arts, which there's a link in my bio. Or... Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And, and then so once people order, then of course yeah. you send it out to them like that. So I <laughs> had a lot of orders this week, right. so it makes, me, uh, makes uh, me be able to make more orders. All right. <laughs> so, and I know people enjoy it, so grateful for, for everyone supporting and just your prayers. Okay, well thank you for, uh, for joining us today. We thank you for watching. Please go follow Father Pasco on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram if you're not following us already. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about this. And until next time, may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.